Yo, 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 what's going on, it's Kizzle, from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you KBO run through, uh, preview of all tonight's games, and ways that I'm looking to cash on these games here, um, uh, Hanwha, four in a row, guys, who would ever think that, five in a row, man, there's no way, I don't know. This is wild, right? But who would think the Reds are uh, winning 12 in a row and beating the Braves like that, right? So, I don't know. It's crazy to me. Uh, but like I was saying for a while, NC's due for that regression. Hence, they were so hot for a while. Um, KT was due for a lot of positive regression before because they were so crappy. And now they're... Uh, Eight and two in their last ten. Kaiwum seven and two. We got SSG and LG seven and three. So, you know, but just to give you guys a little heads up here, uh, Kia has received two All Star players back. I believe it's uh yeah two hitters, an outfielder and an infield. They were injured, and they just came back. They went three for eight. Uh, was it last night? Last night with a home run. So expect Kia to be in some more games now that they have their offense back a little bit. You know, they've been struggling to score a lot. So this will help them out. Just keep that in your mind while you're placing some bets. And anyways, guys, we got 279 subscribers. We're trying to hit that 300 mark. So it's all good. Um, hit me up in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, so you catch the videos right away, because like I've been saying for the last week, I gotta go to work again, I think I'm working uh, uh, 11 days straight or something now, and I got two more days to go after this, hopefully, I'm not really sure if I'm getting a day off yet or not, but... Anyway, so the videos are coming out at all different times. So if you're subscribed like that, you'll know when they're out so you can watch them. And without further ado, ow, Jesus, all right, let's get this video started. It's not, this guy game's not working, but we got Alcantara, oh, uh, Raul Alcantara for Doosan pitching against Kai Woom. Uh, oh, and another note. Eric uh, Jokic is a abductor injury. He'd be out six weeks. But the Kai Wum heroes are parting ways after four and a half years with him. And they're signing, uh, I think it's Ian McKinney. I think that's his name. So I don't think he's ready to pitch yet. But maybe. I'm not really sure who's going to be starting. And tonight there's a lot of bullpen Pitchers going today. There's a lot of bullpen starts, you know. So, whatever. But anyway, so I like Dusan here. I don't even need to know who's pitching for Kai Woom. I like Dusan first half here. Um, and I believe I'm taking the under on the first five. Either way, the full game stuff, I can't tell you. I got to know who's pitching. So, just so I can figure out this over under. But I'm pretty confident with the first half plays right there. Alcantara's been pitching nothing but great, so that's that. All right, next up, the freaking four winnings in a row, Hanway Eagles versus the NC, what happened, Dinos. Luckily for NC, they got a showstopper on the hill tonight. This is the guy that you need to have on the mound after you lose four in a row. And look who we got on the mound, Eric Fetty, man. So... Watch out, Hanwa. That's all I can say, man. <laughs> Watch out, Dinos, if you lose this game, man, with your ace on the hill. That would be something crazy. But anyway, so Eric Fetty, as you guys know, he's been nothing short of excellent all year. Uh, pretty much what he have. His highest run scored was three. That he got in a W anyways against KT, you know. How's he doing on strikeouts? 5-4. He hasn't been striking out as many people lately. But his whip on the year, he's got a 1.05 whip and a 1.74 ERA. And he's 10-1. and one. I'm sorry, Hanma. That was cool winning four games. So. And then we got, what the heck? 
Han Xiang Ju for Hanwa. Uh, he is, I don't know if he's, a, he started his last game, but his other games he was a relief pitcher. A lot of relief pitchers. In the last game, he went four innings, three runs, three hits, two home runs, five strikeouts. I don't know if you want to put him on the hill against NC, man. NC will tear him apart, but anyways, we're going to have to look into that then if they're going to play him or not because if they're going to pitch him for a while, man, that's got over all over it. Because right now, with Fetty on the hill, I'm looking at... Uh, I'm looking first five over, but then I'm looking full game under, and I like NC wire to wire here, guys. They need this one big time. After all that hotness they had, now they're uh, starting to fall through the cracks again, you know, that's no good for them. But, yeah, that's that. Next game, we got KT and Kia. I think this is going to be a good game. Uh, now that Kia can score some runs, uh, what is this the rain warning here, guy? Oh, crap, three, four, uh-oh, this game might get canceled. What was NC's? 33%, uh, it could be all right. All right, so over here we got, for KT pitching, we got Bao. Jay Seung, 3-5 with a 3.60 ERA against Kim Yoo Sin, 0-1 with a 2.77 ERA. And he is a bullpen pitcher, release pitcher, however you want to word it right here. 24 years old, pitching out of the pen. Um, sorry guys, as I'm doing this, I'm getting ready for work, so if you uh, hear any noises or anything, that's why. But, alright, so yeah, in relief over here, one inning, one run, two innings, two runs. You know, he looks like he pitches alright, but he doesn't pitch many innings. He pitched three innings here, you know, so he's not too bad. He's only giving up one home run. That's pretty good, I guess, right? And then for Bao. Bao, where are you, Bao? Get over here, Bao. Bao J. Young. Over here, he's got a few games over here where he pitched pretty good, I believe. Against Lote, one run. Look at that. One against SSG. He shut out Lote again. One Doosan, zero Samsung. Then you got a four, a four, a five, a four, a four, and then two zeros. So, you know, he's probably hittable. You know, everybody's hittable, right? And, uh, yeah, so for this game, I'm trying to get to my sheet, guys. Sorry, one second. Uh, this game, we got a little KT Kia, and we're going first five over. Um, I like KT. And the first five, uh, you can see, I want to see who's favorite half a run, because, uh, you know, Kia's bullpen was really good over the last ten games a little while ago, so... We got to check that one out. And then I got full game. I got Kia in the over. I feel like these guys back on Kia are really going to get that offense going again. And they're going to do, uh, they're going to pull like a Kai Woom slash NC KT right now. They're going to be the hottest team for the next like week or two. Until maybe the all-star break. Who knows? But yeah, that's that. All right. Next game. We got a little Lote and LG. Dan Straley for Lote. Yi Jung Young on the hill for LG. Look, he's got a 54 ERA against Lote. But on the season, he's 3 0 with a 5.57. You guys, how he has a 54 ERA? Because he's a bullpen pitcher, guys. Let's find that game. How many did he give up? All right, so against Lote right here, he well, he pitched the third inning. He gave up two runs. Oh wow, that's crazy. That's not even that bad. But uh, over here, yeah, he's you know he gives up some runs, home runs a couple. I mean he's pretty good. LG's bullpen's decent. 
Ay, ay, ay. Dan Straley, on the other hand. We got a little Straley action. Uh, last time out, shut out baseball five innings against KT. Hanwa smoked him for six. Uh, KT got him for four. Two for Kia. Kaiwoon got shut out. Then we got four to SSG. And then KT got shut out. Then we got a two, a one, a three, three, four, three. So which Dan Straley we gonna get today? So here, I like the first five over. And I like LG. I think LG give us three. I mean, LG's pitch will give up two. Straley will get give up three or so, you know. So we're taking LG. Ah. All right. Oh, yeah, for, that's the first half. Um, full game. I got to see what the over-under is, but I like LG to win. Next game and the last game. You guys might be amazed with this game here, man. I got a big underdog on this game. I'm feeling it today with David Buchanan on the hill. So we got Samsung SSG. For SSG, we got Choi Sung Hun. For Samsung, we got my boy D. Buchanan going over here. Uh, yeah, so Choi Sung Hun pitched one game on June 20th. Went four innings against Doosan. Shut out baseball. I think Samsung's going to welcome him a little bit today. Well, not too bad. Buchanan, on the other hand, over here. He's been... Uh, up and down this year, you know, 3.21 ERA, about the same as every year, 1.24 whip. Uh huh. So, against Kai Wong, give up one run, but six runs, only one earned. A two, a four, a five, a one, a three, a one. Um, now, this is the craziest stat I've ever heard of. So, if you go 2023, never pitching as SSG, go to 2022. Never pitched against SSG. So, SSG has not faced David Buchanan. I'm shocked by that. I really am. I'm not looking to 2021 because I don't want to go back that far. Anyways, teams have shifted a little bit. But, since they have not seen him, I got a strong play over here with Samsung. And I like the first half of under. Um, and with Samsung on the first half. And... I think we're going to go a full game under, even though they put up 23 runs yesterday. I ain't worried about it. I don't think it's going to be too crazy today. And I'm probably going to take Samsung plus a run and a half. Because SSG won five in a row. Samsung lost five in a row. Something's got to give, you know. So, uh, I think today's got Samsung's name all over it. Alright, guys. Uh, oh, and let me just say this too. If you guys don't like my plays, you don't gotta play them, man, you know? This is what I'm doing, so. I don't know, somebody said something to me, but. I don't wanna take it out on the people that give me, uh, props and everything. And like what I do and appreciate what I do, so I don't wanna get angry right now, but. Uh, nobody's holding a gun to your head saying play these plays, guys. This is all by your choice, you know? Um, some days are better than other days, obviously, you know, it's called gambling for a reason, right? But, alright, let's start on, let's end on a positive note, guys. Alright, I hope you guys all have a great day. Uh, best of luck to everybody. Stay tuned for the other videos. Like I said earlier, I'm working, so I don't know when they will be out. It's a Saturday night. Saturday nights are busy in the restaurant business. I'll try to get them out as early as possible. Just so we can get them in because uh, some games are earlier. Tonight we got a 1 a.m. game that Tucson games at 1. Uh, MPB is obviously earlier. So we got to try to get those up. All right, guys, let's get them. Beat the books. Uh, good luck. God bless. Kizzle out. Peace.